So I know I'm late to reacting this by at least a day. You people on YouTube and Twitch can attest to that firsthand. Better late than never, but might I say, even for Attack on Titan standards, the amount of hype that I've been given by my friends, my mother reactors, by chat, by you guys, makes me unfathomably excited for this episode. And like I said, on Attack on Titan standards, that's unreal, you know? What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan, the final season, the final, final season, part four, the finale of the final season. Just joking. I'm just messing with you guys. Uh, <laughs> season four, episode 87 in total. Ep season four, episode 28 to be specific. This one is called The Dawn of Humanity. Last episode, we lost two of the greatest soldiers that we've known in the show. I must give one more RIP. Must give one RIP to Magath and Keith Shadis. Now, you guys made a specific comment that really didn't hit me until after I watched the episode that we all knew in terms of we, the audience, and the people on the boat who are going to see what they can do about this flying boat to stop Aaron. They knew about Magath's sacrifice because he said, I'm going to stay back. I'm going to defend the ship. I'm going to do this, that, and the other. But they didn't know who blew up the train. They didn't know who did all this, that, and the other. They didn't know about my man Keith and his role and how much he impacted his being that bystander role that he was talking Oh, like... That man is a main character in his own right. And I think it's so well deserved that they had that, that that whole scene. So powerful. So well done. Gotta give my, again, one more. They deserve it. Way too excited about this. It's the finale of part two. You guys know. I'm. It's Attack on Titan. We're all here. We're excited. If you guys don't know, you guys can watch this as well as all the other shows I'm watching right now live on Twitch. Great community. You guys can see the chat. Come on by. Twitch.tv slash Darius. Great time. Other than that, follow all the other social medias, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all of Dapper Darius. Appreciate you guys. Let's hop into this Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 28. This one's called The Dawn of Humanity. Let's do this. Is this her dream? Like, John had his dream of... It's a car. So, is this like early 1920s, 1930s, the Industrial Revolution? The fits, the outfits fit that time. I love them. I'll never not love them. <laughs> They're actually buying carrots. So this is the other side of the sea. Is this after season three, like their first time investigating? That would make sense. Is that, I, for some reason, assumed that was Gabby in like a time skip, but I'm so smoked that has to be Sasha. So this has to be after season three, before season four. And we're just our first time in Marley, Marley's biggest port. Anya Kapon is over here helping us out. He's in, He's been on our side for years at this point. So is Yelena. So, okay. I, I, I'm starting to get a lot of this. And this is their first like true experience. They're, you know... Okay, I'm starting to get the time period. Imagine trying ice cream for the first time. That's got to be fucking insane. So, I don't mean to pause it, but I'm, like I said, I'm trying to get a feel for the time period. This is post season three, uh, before season four. This is their first infiltration. This is still post time skip. This is still years after season three because they've established Marley's over there. Got to get across the sea. The, Marley did their infiltration mission. We had the whole Yelena on Yukapon. That whole entire ordeal went down. We have this plan. We're working towards it. And this is our first scouting mission. That's why Hanji says, it brings me back to my expedition days. Our first mission, scouting uncharted territory. It makes a lot of sense. My only thing is I'm trying to get in the perspective of Aaron because there's so many different layers to uh, what to unpack from whose perspective we're at. Like Mikasa and everyone else is a lot of discovery, a lot of mystery box, a lot of this, that, and the other. Whereas Aaron already knows he's going to do the rumbling at this point. As soon as he kissed Historia's hand, he saw his future self. He saw his dad unload. He saw everything. So I'm. it's going to be so interesting putting myself from different characters' point of views because their motivations differ so much. It's just, it's so crazy and so complex. I don't know. Just through my dad's memories, Eldians in the zone rarely get to have it. Yeah. Damn, okay, talk about pit pockets. He was quick with Sasha's money. Can I say though, it's great seeing Sasha again. I miss her immensely. 
Yeah, they don't realize what they've just... No, you can't do this. This You want to talk about being suspicious in this area? This is, uh, this is one of the true examples of Marley right here. It went from... Discovery, mystery box, happiness, discovering new things, to getting a first taste of what a new people, a new culture really like, you know? He still has the purse? This, he took Levi? Oh, I mean, shouts out to Levi and them for saving this kid, not, knowing what it's like to be on the other end. <laughs> that kid is fun. Shouts out to that kid. And to a certain degree, I think she's genuine in that, but I think she's a little bit more realistic instead of optimistic than they are. And she also has her own self-interest in mind as well, you know? She wants the Osmo Bito, to, Osmo Bito along with Mikasa to prosper, and you know, it's very difficult. I think Hanji picking up Ervin's shoes and all that pressure and responsibility from not only the alive status and people in the world, but all of your fallen brethren. She's one of my favorite characters in the show, 100%. Is this when he first disappeared? Like, he first was on play? Oh, uh, is he crying for that kid? Is he crying because he knows what he has to do? He knows what's going to happen to this land? I wonder. See, that's my biggest thing. I wish I could be in the head of Aaron. I... At, I <sighs> and I think, to an extent, Aaron feels... Like, that's why he was crying. I think he feels horrible about knowing that he has to ultimately kill these people to save himself. That's such a Mikasa answer. Damn, that is some nice looking hot cocoa. Or coffee. He's speaking a language we don't understand. I'm sure they got some bussin' food. I love this remix of the song. Oh, that's the memory John was feeling. Oh, damn, man. That's sad. So when he heard about the rumbling, yeah, he's thinking about these people, man. That is sad. Man, that sucks. Oh, they came back. They said the party is not over yet. Heck yeah. So let's have this be a festival type thing. I can't believe... Oh, man, that sucks. See, what's going on in Aaron's mind right now? The responsible ones come in see the damage that's been done. <laughs> Sasha always goes too hard, you know? Oh, and Aaron's leaving again. That today, okay. That's when it happened. I was wondering if it was okay. He's had to entrust Zeke with everything. And the next time they saw him was that day. Oh my god. Talk about it. Talk about a time skip. I completely get why Mikasa is thinking about this whole thing. And I love this entire flashback from Mikasa's point of view. Because she's been a pivotal character in terms of the connection between Eren and the rest of the world, you know, this whole time. She's literally the bridge, it seems like. To think that was our biggest issue at the time, bro. Simpler times. I miss season one, man. And we're actually getting the full details of when he was telling Flock that as well. He really trusted Flock. Flock was really his right-hand man. Is this where they came up with that side plan? Because we never found out who... Who impregnated Historia. So Flock really knew. Flock really knew. So did Historia. That's a tip. That's the historia response. I would assume she would say. I get it. He wants to break the cycle by hitting the reset button, you know. But the opposite side of that is the cycle is built into humanity itself. Like the cycle will never stop. But I also like Historia's response right here. I had no idea she really knew from the beginning. I don't. Oh, 
survival instinct that makes sense when it comes to Levi and Mikasa. That was Aaron really bullshitting when he told that to Mikasa? Thank you, Zeke. I actually appreciate Zeke saying this, because that's what I've been saying. <laughs> you gotta think, love is far stronger than any sort of forced blood thing that you've been saying, you know? He cut his own leg off during that to pass as one of the Eldian injured people to sneak in. Oh my god, I don't need to see that. So that's where it gets so confusing, because he genuinely does want that, and I feel like he does, but then he's so willing to... Like, it's... I don't know, man. I really can't under... He's so complicated. I cannot understand this, man. He is a complex main character. Nearly every cannon that exists in the world has been gathered here today. Focused on a singular purpose of stopping Eren. No, legit. You guys are literally the last bastion of humanity. You, they can see the, the steam coming in as like a warning like, oh, it's so crazy to think. Ooh, with it being muted too? Oh, okay, that was well done. That was well done. This is like an orchestra, the way it's going on beat? Oh my god! The largest cannons. Those things are tearing colossals apart. Oh my god. And that was a good amount of them, but we gotta realize how many millions, right? Millions of colossals coming? How many is coming? Like, guys, can we get to reload and fire again? The music? I literally was playing the song before stream. I guess that's that. Can we type GG's in chat? Press F to pay respects for the world? Why are they playing one of the most badass songs in Attack on Titan for one of the most crazy? I mean, it fits, but like, this is so crazy. Last time I heard this song, bro, I just picture Eren carrying a boulder right here, you know? <sighs> you know, come on. Yeah, run, bro. Fuck it, guys. I don't blame you. You're not gonna do nothing with your cannons. Get the fuck out of there. Go hug your loved ones one last time. Nah, I'm not turning around. I'm going straight to my house, telling my wife I love her. <laughs> Shingeki no Kyojin! Look at that shot. That's one of the craziest shots in Attack on Titan history. Easily. Easily. I literally have goosebumps right now. I wish I could show you. Oh my god, two a year? Oh my goodness gracious. Are you oh my come on a year? Uh like I really don't even know where to begin. Like I loved I love the no opening. I love it because it fits so thematically and cinematically, and I love how it was a flashback from Mikasa's point of view that was not so clear that we had to interpret, and it was because of Mikasa thinking about what she could have done differently in order to stop this, and about, like, when it comes to situations like these, especially with someone who Mikasa and Armin, but Mikasa specifically, especially because she knew him longer than Armin, or she is the closest person left alive in the world to him. And so to think about, is there, it would, it would be, I don't, I don't know, man. It would be literally an unfathomable amount of weight on her shoulders thinking what she's thinking. And I get it. And I love that we never saw that until now, this whole point of view. I thought, oh, is she having a dream? Is she think, what is this? And then I genuinely do think that tear from Aaron was, was because he knew what he, he knew these people were going to die by his hand. He knew it had to be done. And he knows they're good people. He knows he has to kill innocent. He knows what he's doing is wrong to a certain degree, but he justifies it, obviously, with his reasons. You know, I'm not going to go into that. We all know that, but it's just, it's so deep. And then we finally got the conversation between him and Historia. It was Historia's plan to get pregnant. We finally got the 
it was i'm not saying it's confirmed but i'm almost confirming that it's bullshit what he said to mikasa about the whole armin or the whole uh ackerman host thing like zeke even said it himself he's like bro she just fucking love you dog come on bro and it's like and i get what he's saying like he's like, zeke's like what are you gonna say to her thinking like like there's a light at the end of the tunnel thinking long term he's like what the fuck are you talking about we're talking about what i'm gonna say to this girl and i only have four years to live and i'm trying to destroy the world for the you know like i get i i get it i get it it's just crazy i love how short this episode felt like it felt like one thing i'll give to mappa for sure we may have our qualms and our disagreements about the marketing and the title of final season but i cannot say they rushed a single part of this this has been upheld to the quality that i think we and them as a studio think it deserves and from multiple mul there's been countless parts in part one and countless parts in part two that have trended and broke the internet because they've been just so well handed it's like like there's a reason people love mappa and it's like uh, you know i don't know this episode fantastic fantastic finale fantastic way to wrap up part two you guys absolutely know unless something happens god forsaken and i'm no longer able to do reactions you guys know next year i'll be here to do this with you knock on wood but fantastic episode thank you to everyone who was watching live with me we have a good amount of viewers right now you guys' support has been fantastic um thank you to everyone who's watched i have people who comment that they say they've watched me from attack on titan season three because though i i did do attack on titan season three years ago so it's like you guys have been here for the long term you guys are my homies we're watching anime together it's a great feeling great vibe appreciate you guys immensely don't forget to check out that patreon later if you guys want to check out the full length it's gonna be a little bit later don't forget to drink some water tell someone you love them have a great day dapper squad appreciate y'all immensely peace out <laughs>